Next up, the Golden State Warriors at number 11, coached by our friend and former colleague Mark Jackson. The pick is in. Here's the commissioner. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. Clay will become the fifth son of a number one overall pick to play in the NBA. Jay Billis, what do you like about his game? Well, the son is very different from the father. Clay is a perimeter shooter. Uh, he's got excellent range. He's good spotting up. Uh, very much improved off the bounce over the last year and a half. Uh, now he can pull up and he can hit uh, challenge shots when guarded. Uh, that's not necessarily a strength of his, but he's moving very well without the ball. And this young man can really shoot it. He's got good size, uh, good length, and you can see he's unafraid to pull the trigger from deep. Uh, he's also a very good passer, a good feel for the game, excellent court vision, and he's a, a guy, we've, we've used the term willing passer. You know, a lot of guys that score uh, like he does, they don't want to give the ball up, uh, but he does. He gives it up to open people. Uh, he's easy to play with, and I think he's an underrated athlete. Last summer at the Nike Skills Academy, one of the things that really impressed me about Clay was his feet. Uh, he was able to stay in front uh, of, of ball handlers in a way that I didn't think possible. I didn't think he was that good of a defender, but he proved me wrong. He, he showed that he could be a good defender and could stay in front. I, I think he's a terrific prospect that can really score the ball. We're here at the Warriors practice facility and draft prospects coming in just about uh, a week away from the draft. And we've got Clay Thompson from Washington mm -hmm. State, a sharpshooter. And, uh, yeah. You know about your prowess at uh, Washington State and uh, led the conference in three-point shooting, uh, uh, three points made, and led the conference in scoring this year. Coming out after your junior year, you contemplated coming out after your sophomore year. What made you stay around for another year? Um, I just loved college at the time, and I felt like I wasn't you know, physically ready. And um, I think it was a great decision coming back because uh, you know, we had a pretty good season. And I, I mean, I loved Pullman. It was a great experience. And um, I'm happy I came back because, you know, I got to be with my teammates another year. And college is really fun, and I'll miss it a little bit, but, you know, I'm ready for that next stage. And look, we've got some video here, and we want to talk you know, several aspects of your game. And first of all, you know, anybody can, you know, catch that ball and, and take the shot, whether mm -hmm. they make it or not is another question. You've got a great uh, shooting touch. Let's, let's watch your runoffs and screens here and see how you move without the basketball. But it's, uh, in the NBA game, it's very fast. You've got to read the defense quickly, okay? You're going on that baseline. Mm -hmm. For a minute, I thought I was watching watching Reggie Miller there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Abe just made a great. Abe was a great screener for us. You know, he's always head hunting. He just made a great play there. I just ran off and got open. Come off again. Yep. Because you know, every time I come off a screen, all I gotta think is turn my shoulders, get him square to the basket. And get my Spot up shooters. Yeah, if that's all they're going to do, pretty soon people aren't gonna leave you. Yep. Did you add something to your game this year, uh, in the last couple of years, to get to the free throw line, taking it to the basket a little bit more? Oh yeah, I think uh, I just worked so much this summer on my quickness, my ball handling, and Coach Bone helped me so much with just encouraging me to attack the rim and attack the basket, because in uh, Coach Bennett's system, I was more just a spot shooter, come off screens, and he encouraged me to be more, more versatile, multi-dimensional, 